Hey everyone, this is Devin with Tenacity Ag. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the upgrades that we found for the P100 Pro. Just some little things that can make life easier when you're out spraying with these drones. So first off, I'm gonna talk about the battery handle upgrade. So this is just a 3D printed handle that we sell. Um, you can get them numbered as well. So it makes the batteries a lot easier to maneuver and move around and they, they, for some reason, they just feel lighter with that handle on. Uh, next, I'll talk about the lid. So we've done a couple upgrades to this lid. We've got a few options on here. This is the Banjo one inch quick connect fill. That's actually my favorite way to fill just because it, it doesn't leak at all. This is with the 60 liter tank. It comes with this little rubber cap. That's an easy way to fill as well. And then there's also a port that you can get for like a gas nozzle. One thing I will say too with, with this banjo fill, we like to put these tubes on so that way you fill from the bottom up and you can really reduce your foam problem. If you have any problems with foaming, that helps a lot because there's no air introduced to the chemical. One thing I'll mention, this drone actually does have the 60 liter upgrade tank on it. So that's gonna give you 16 gallons of capacity up from the standard 50 liters. We've also got the high performance prop upgrade. This is gonna give you more flight time with the 50 liter. Um, and it's also gonna allow you to carry this upgraded 60 liter tank if you choose to go that route. On the nozzles, we do have a check valve One problem a lot of guys have with these nozzles is they drip when you're coming in for landing or taking off they tend to drip and spray all over your landing site so just a little half psi 3 uh barb check valve that we stick in there they're really cheap and they take care of that issue we've had great feedback on these this is what they look like One other thing that we highly recommend is a SIM card. So we've had the best luck with this SIM card. It's called Smart SIM, and we sell these, but these seem to hold a connection better than any other SIM card that we've used. Uh, this is a triple play, so it's supposed to work on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, and we've had really good luck with those cards in the controller and in the drone as well. Um, speaking of the controller, we like to use this triple tech tablet. So we have this mount here. It's just kind of like a Ram type mount that this has been a really solid setup for guys who want to be able to use the controller as well as the tablet. It's a super bright tablet. This is the triple tech nine pro super bright, super long battery life, uh, really heavy duty waterproof all around. It really helps like, your experience with using the drone if you have a high quality device to operate the app. One other thing with positioning, we really recommend the RTK base station now based on experience. Um, this drone does have the VRTK option, but it doesn't seem to be the most reliable as far as positioning. So we highly recommend get yourself one of these mounted on your trailer, stick it in the field, whatever you need to do, but that's going to make sure that the drone lands in the same spot every time, especially if you're landing on top of trailers, it's a really good idea to have some sort of an RTK. With that, I think that's all of the upgrades that we're using on it right now. Um, hopefully this helps you guys understand more about the drone and how to get the best experience when you're using a P100 Pro.